Hey guys, it's me again. I'm back for another episode of That Boy Ken. Now, I appreciate you guys watching that first episode, that pilot. It went very well. And I hope to continue to uh, share my opinion with you guys. I do. But before we begin, y'all know what I got to do. Per usual, of course, I have to thank NYPS. <laughs> For this opportunity, I'm going to continue to thank them for this opportunity in every episode. That's my plan. That's what I'm going to do. Alrighty. So let's jump into it, shall we? Shall we? Now, this topic here, I don't know too much about. Mainly because I don't do it often. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't club. Clubbing. Clubbing, going out to the club. Don't do it. And... I have my reasons why I don't do it. Um, for me, first things first. One thing I don't ever want anyone to say is, oh, you know, I seen Ken in the club last week. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't want, like, my name, I don't need my name being in the streets like that. I, I That's just me. I don't need that. Clubbing for me is, it gets old. It got old real quick. Very quickly. Um, again, I, I mean, I know I mentioned it before. I'm not originally from Atlanta. I'm originally from Fort Lauderdale. So when I was in Fort Lauderdale or living in Florida, period, I never really clubbed, never really went out to the clubs. And if I did, it was nothing, you know, serious. Then when I moved here, you know, everyone was like, oh, this is the, this is the party city. This is the city to have fun in and of course I ventured out and trailed it around and tried to experience it for myself and I experienced a lot and I also realized that it gets old it, it, it gets really really old and to me I'm at that age like I'm 26 I'll be 27 in September yay me go Virgo <laughs> but um 26 and I feel like at what age do we say enough is enough like at what age do we sit down and say okay I'm not doing this club thing no more I may frequent it every now and then but I'm not gonna do it and don't get me wrong I'm not stepping on anyone's toes I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm better than anybody I'm not absolutely not what what what's fun to you is what's fun to you what's fun to me is what's fun to me but at what point do you say hey I'm not gonna club every weekend at like at what point because I know a few people no shade sips his tea keep it moving um but I do know a few people that get those text messages every weekend Y'all know those text messages I'm talking about. Those messages that tell you come before 11, you get in free. Don't act like y'all don't know. <laughs> but yeah, like I do have those friends who get those messages and then they act on it. Oh, well, I'm going to such and such tonight because, you know, they got this special going on. Or oh, I'm going here tonight because they got this special going on. No, mm -mm. and my friends will tell you, let me tell you now, I am the, I won't say the most boring person, but I am such a homebody. Let me tell y'all right now, I am the biggest homebody ever. On a Friday night, you went, you call my phone, ask me where I am. I'm be over here on this couch laying down watching that TV. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm going to find me a good movie. A good Netflix movie, a good HBO movie. I'm going to find me a good movie somewhere. I'm going to crack open that bottle of wine. I'm going to have me some wangs. Yes, I'm going to have me some wangs. You know, lemon pepper wet. A little, a little crispy, but wet. Make sure you keep them wet. Blue cheese, not ranch. <laughs> and I'm going to lay on my couch. I'm going to watch TV. I'm, I'm not a club person. I don't go to clubs. I'll go every now and then. The time that, that I will go to a club is like if I have people coming in from out of town visiting and they say, hey, I, they want to go out. I'm not going to be the Debbie Downer. I'm going to go out. I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to go. We're going to have a good time. But for me to just haul off on a Friday or Saturday night to say, hey, 
I'm going to the club tonight. That can't happen. No, no, no. And I feel like my money can go so many different places. Like, I like to travel. Okay, y'all? Like, I do. I like to travel. Like, I have a trip coming up in a few weeks. I love traveling. That I feel like that's where my money can go. And this is how I know I'm getting old. Like, little things make me happy. If I get a new comforter set for my bed, that makes me happy. Like, that's where my money goes to. If I get a new painting for the wall, I'm excited. If I get a new throw pillow for the couch, I'm excited. Like, those things excite me. A club does not excite me. Number one, I don't like smoke. I don't. That's just, ugh. Like, it, like... I went to a club, I had a friend of mine who just moved here. Hey Brandon. <laughs> but I did, I had a friend of mine who just moved here and we went to a club. First and foremost, you can tell it was, they, the people there were younger than we were. Um, we went in there, not saying we didn't have a good time because we did have a good time, but I was ready to go. And being the fact that he just moved here to Atlanta, I didn't want to pull him out and be like, I'm ready to go, let's go. I didn't want to be that person. We all know a person like that. And that was, I refused to be that person that night. <laughs> so, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm, we all standing, we're basically standing like in a corner. And people are walking by and they're dancing on the dance floor. And then they're smoking. And... It's just like, okay, oh my God, I'm about to choke up in here with all this smoke. Like, it is ridiculous how much smoke was in there. So, of course, we went, and I think the club had, like, two sides. So, we left one side and went to the other. And as we're walking, we have to walk outside to go into the other side. So, I'm trying to catch my breath between the two <laughs> before I go into the smoke again. But needless to say, I hate smoke. We left that club. And this is how we left the club, because I looked at him and I said, hey, whenever you're ready to go, let me know. He was like, you let me know when you're ready to go. Well, hell, I'm ready to go, so let's go. <laughs> but when we did leave the club, oh my goodness, you would think we were in there smoking. We smelled like smoke, and it was just crazy. We had to let the windows down in the car. Like, that stayed that smell stayed in my vehicle for a little while. But it's just crazy. I can't do the smoking thing. Then, I do, don't get me wrong, I do drink. But you have to know how to make your drinks. Because if your drinks ain't right, I'm going to end up sick. And that has happened to me before. I went to a club. And the bartender gave me more alcohol than juice or whatever they put in it. And I ended up sick. Now, y'all know I keep it real with y'all. I do. But that night, I was put out of the club because I ended up throwing up. Not the, it was embarrassing for me. It was just super duper embarrassing. That's a, definitely one reason why I don't club because I don't want to get that, that. And what's crazy is, oh my God, it was off one drink. So you know that drink had to be real strong for me to get sick and throw up in these people's trash can. That was so embarrassing to me, y'all. But like I said, I keep it real with y'all. My most embarrassing moment, y'all had it. There y'all go. But, you know, for me, I like to eat too. I want to spend my money. So we, I do, I like to eat. So I would like to spend my money on food. I do. I would, like I said, traveling. I love traveling. I do. And furniture shopping. That's, the, oh my God. Yeah, y'all, I'm old. I'm doing things that I would, most people do in their 30s, mid 30s. I'm doing it at 26. But what can I say? I'm just that per. I just don't club. Oh, and don't get me started on the DJ. If the DJ sucks, yeah, I got to go. I'm not going to stay in there. I'm not. I, I just can't do it. And then what gets me is, for example, one week 
or not even one week, I would say, okay, a time of friends came here, we went out to that club, and then two months later, I went to the same club again, and the prices is different. Like, I'm not sure if you guys are, for those who are in Atlanta, or for those who may have visited and maybe went to the U bar. Now, it's not necessarily a club, but it's more so a bar. Eh, I won't really say it's a club, but it can be a club because of the music and the dance floor. It could be a club. But I went to the U bar one time. It was $10 for men, and the women got in free. So I said, well, dang, that's pretty good. So, I, you know, I can frequent here. That's not bad. Not too bad. Then some months later, I went to the U-Bar again. And this is the place that has those strong drinks. I don't know who that bartender is at the U-Bar, but you need to leave it. Because you don't know how to make any drinks. But back on back on the subject. <laughs> um, like the U-Bar, the second time I went, it was $20 for men. And ten dollars for women. Now I'm not cheap, but I am a little frugal, and I feel like that twenty dollars went down the drain because it was so crowded in there. It was just people bumping into each other. It was a lot going on. It was a lot going on, and on top of that, the drinks were ridiculously nasty. So I said to myself, I probably won't frequent the U bar again. It's just, guys, let me just say this. Enjoy it. Enjoy going out. Enjoy clubbing. Enjoy it all. Because at some point, I feel like it does have to end. Like, as we get older, we can't be popping off to the club every weekend. Like, good God almighty. Like, we can't. Enjoy it. If you're young and you're watching this, enjoy it. Enjoy your youth. Enjoy your 20s. Enjoy everything. But at some point, you have to put your focus on something else. I know for me, another like reasons I won't club is because I'm trying to focus on career. I'm trying to focus on me and my future. I want to buy a home. I, it's different things I want to do. I want to start a business. It's a whole bunch of... This head ain't big. <laughs> This head of mine isn't big for no reason. It's big because I have a lot of stuff I want to do. So, like I said, enjoy it. You know, have fun. But you have to also realize and take note of the people that you keep around you. Because if you have friends that only want to club every weekend, you might want to reevaluate your friendship. Because I feel like my friends don't. No, 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 no. Especially if your friends know you really well. They shouldn't want a club every weekend. Like, I'm not saying you got to be stuffed up in the house with me, but let's find something else to do. Hell, I'm a big old kid at heart. We can go down to the Dave & Buster's and get some games going. Like, I'm good with that. We can go out to eat down at the Taco Mac or TGI Fridays, and I'm good with that. Like, I'm good with that. I feel like a club is not something your friend should try to encourage you to go every weekend. Like, come on. Really, friend? We're not going to do that. Okay? So, guys, I do definitely want to thank you again for listening to me rant. Because I know that's what I was doing was ranting. But I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Um... Yeah, you have a great day.